Hello and welcome to the History Of. I'm Richard and this is... Gary. And we are still talking about our Viking cruise. And this is part eight. And we are in, we are starting in, where? Uh, Luxembourg. Luxembourg, yeah. Luxembourg. And we're visiting the cemetery. The American Cemetery in Luxembourg. Um, this is where General Patton is buried. So Granddad was right. You can keep the crosses and still maintain the grounds. They're doing a beautiful job here in Luxembourg. And you definitely get the effect. I understand what he was talking about. It would have been nice to have seen this in the caldera. It's an American-run cemetery in Luxembourg for those who died in World War II. Okay, now we are in... this Rhymes? Yeah, it, it's either Rhymes or Roms. Um, I, I kept hearing it pronounced differently, and I know some people are going to just go crazy that we butchered the, the pronunciation. And this is the... Notre the, Dame. Notre Dame de Rhymes. Mm -hmm. This is the largest one. This is the one um, where kings are crowned. So as I gotta remember, as low as I can go, I'm having champagne in champagne. I'm having champagne in champagne. Yeah, it's very good. Cheers. I'm gonna take a picture of you with so, the champagne in that. So we're at this French restaurant in France and they did not serve us bread in a basket. They served us bread on a stick. My grandfather and I, on our, the first cruise I went on, we ordered 10 orderings of it each. Escar we loved it so much. Escargot. That was how gluttonous we were on Carnival. <laughs> was that the first time you had it? Yeah. This so, is delicious. Very buttery. Does it have the that crunchiness to it? Because I no. remember the escargot, the escargot I, Part of a cruise, it's like it, there was sand in it. We just went into a unisex restroom, and it kind of confused me because I walked in there and there were women, and I said, "Whoa, is this a women's restroom?" And the woman said, "No, unisex." This is one door. See right there, one door. We get there. Just one door, but all the stalls are um, completely enclosed. So you can't. It's just, it was just a strange. It was just so strange. It was pretty cool. And it's supposed to be supposedly larger than the Notre Dame de Paris. Yeah, you could fit the Notre Dame de Paris inside. This is so massive. Wow. Oh my god. It's huge. Okay, and then we got to go inside, and Gary wanted lots of pictures of the inside mm -hmm. of the Notre Dame de Rams. Yeah, I think this is one of the ones where we get to see um, Chagall. Um, design glass.
This is the Chagall glass. And we have arrived in Paris. Yay! Yay! And our view is absolutely fantastic. As you can see here in our hotel room, we could see the Eiffel Tower. And off to the left, we could see the Arc de Triomphe. What's interesting is, is that the, the picture makes it so that it seems like it's really small and at a distance. But it really wasn't. It was actually very close and very large yeah. from where we were seeing. All right, so Gary and I have finally arrived in Paris, and we have, this is our, Humble our room. room, but check out the view. Look at that. We got a view of the fucking Eiffel Tower. Check that out. Wow. <sighs> So awesome. I'm filming. Oh. Because you like to do that. So, they had different things for McDonald's, but it wasn't very appetizing. So we decided to get the basic stuff that you get in the United States. Although they have something called pump feet sauce. I think it's basically mayonnaise. And they have curry dip sauce. Um, they're, they have paper lids. And they put the ice cream in this that looks like paper as well. And it's a strawberry. It actually, it's like sherbet. Sir, yeah, it does. And then chicken nuggets. And the nuggets. And look at how they put the they put the nuts on the side in the packets. Oh, that's kind of cool. Take your time. This is a different kind of bottle of water. First, it's in French, but the top pops like this, and then you. Put it all the way over like that, and then drink. Pretty cool. And here we are at the Arc de Triomphe. Richard's been dying to hear the siren recorded. To cross the roundabout, there's actually a tunnel to go under and go to the Triumph. By the way, that roundabout is insane. Um, <laughs> the glad. people driving there are crazy. And, and apparently the rule is when you're driving into the roundabout, everybody who's in the roundabout has to stop and make way for you, which kind of defeats the purpose of a roundabout. Because the roundabout is that the traffic just flows, just keeps going like this. But nope, you know, people have to stop and wait for, for tra traffic to go into the roundabout. It's, it doesn't make any sense. You're just glad we didn't have to drive on it. Yeah, the, the driving there was crazy. Here's a nighttime view of the Eiffel Tower outside of our hotel room in Paris, France. Lit up at night. So cool. It's so weird though how the recording makes it look yellow when what we see is orange. I thought the Arc de Triomphe would be lit up more. Yeah. Well, that was our day one in Paris. The next video will all be all about our journey through Paris. So look for that video.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. See you on the next The History of. Bye! Bye.